A grand challenge in energy for the 21st century is how we store, generate and use energy without the environmental impact and the concerns about the climate. At the heart of the problem is a materials problem. We've got to find the right types of materials that give us increased functionality and we have to think about how we integrate them into devices and how we integrate them into our energy storage and harvesting uh, components. Smart energy is really a very broad term that we coined to, uh, to include several key areas of research on campus. They're related to energy harvesting, for example, solar energy is very important. Another area is energy utilization. Then a third area is energy storage with uh, things like batteries and supercapacitors. And that's the kind of research that Binghamton University is really excited about. At Binghamton, we have the Northeast Center for Chemical Energy Storage whose goal is to advance lithium batteries, make them better, make them lower cost, using fundamental science, then applying that fundamental science to actually building batteries. And we can do all of that right here at Binghamton. But to make better batteries, you have to understand how the atoms move and then control those atoms. And we have improved the energy density by about a factor of two or three in the last 30 years. And we anticipate with federal funding to go another factor of two the next five or six years. The concepts that we're focused on at Binghamton University around smart energy certainly has a lot of emphasis on materials, uh, a lot of emphasis on smart thinking. I'm glad that we've embraced that word. We've actually named a building the Smart Energy Building that combines physics, chemistry, and engineering sciences in, in one facility, in one building. So it's, you know, some people might think it sounds trite a little bit to talk about smart energy, but I think it's, it's a smart way to talk about energy. Binghamton has been able to bring together chemistry, physics, and mechanical engineering under the banner of material science and engineering. So researchers can work together, they can bring their teams together, and just good things happen when you can get collaborative efforts. I'm working in close collaboration with a person in computer science, um, and my students have had the opportunities to interact with the students in his group and learn more uh, about how to develop code in a, a professional way and uh, how to package uh, our product for being released uh, as open source. When I talk to prospective students, I tell them about the possibilities of these new technologies and how they'll have a role in developing them, not only from a fundamental material perspective, but also their fabrication, as well as working with an industrial partner so that they have a full picture of what it is to create, design, and develop new technology. The interaction with students uh, and postdocs at Binghamton University has been a critical element in our collaborations uh, with them. Uh, they uh, approach uh, technical challenges with unique, uh, unique solutions or unique perspectives uh, that enable us to identify uh, new solutions uh, to those challenges. Plus, also, it enables us to build relationships with them. So as they go out into industry, uh, we have already had a productive relationship established for future collaborations or interactions. When we collaborate with industry, we work on projects that are, have a potential deep and positive impact on society, very broad impact on society, and there's nothing more rewarding than that. If you, if you work on something that you see over time people using and living a better life or having better health, there's nothing as satisfying as seeing that. The growth of Binghamton University is one of the exciting aspects, and this gives us opportunities to provide uh, the environment of a small university where you have that hands-on proximity with your mentors, but with the opportunities and resources of a larger university. Quite simply, Binghamton University is smart energy.